All right, so what we're gonna do is just take a look at this design for a Ghostbuster themed uh, Nerf blaster. Okay, so all I took was the uh, Nerf Flip Fury, which is a really cool uh, Nerf that has the two barrels, each with uh, six darts per barrel. And then once you fire all, all six from one, you could flip it around and do the other. I chose this one just because one, it just, it looks really cool. And two, it looks uh, like something very different than a traditional um, actual gun. Uh, and because this is for uh, kids to use as part of a fundraising event that's Halloween themed, uh, I want it to look like something that would fall in line much more with the Ghostbusters. And the Ghostbusters don't use an actual gun, so I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look something um, that they might actually use. Uh, and so I tried to look at a whole bunch of designs of uh, things that other people have online in addition to what the Ghostbusters use in their proton packs, the Ghost Traps, and the Ecto-1. And I came up with this design uh, and color so scheme. So we have a white overall as the main color. So I started by just a white primer and then uh, a white gloss uh, sprayed on here. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, some things you might have to know. Uh, and then I decided to put red on the barrels because it really stood out and looked really nice. And then with a few black accents, right? And I put actually grip tape uh, on the handle to make it uh, feel a little bit better. Um, decided I really wanted green mixed into it and trying to figure out where I don't want people's sight to be really blocked. Uh, so I decided to put the uh, green slime container sort of on the bottom here. And it's really nice because this particular um, Nerf pistol has this kind of strapping that goes across there. So it was a perfect place for me to mount something. Uh, so I wanted to get some slime through Amazon, got some green glow slime. I don't think we'll see it glowing probably too much uh, in the settings that we're using it, but, but it does look really cool. Uh, and then I need to find a container to put it in. I wanted to put it into a giant um, like test tube looking thing, but I really don't want to use glass. So I had to find a, a plastic container uh, that was safe and then a way to attach it really securely. So kind of used these uh, sort of um, pipe fasteners. You can kind of ratchet down and make it very tight and secure uh, on that surface. So all I had to do was essentially pour the uh, slime into the container mount the top on uh, with epoxy, and then I put a little valve in here. So the little valve, so it looks like it's then connected. And that's the key to the design, is you kind of have to look like there's some function to the different parts. They can't just be randomly just things sticking off there that don't go anywhere. So in particular, here's a barrel that I kind of added to it with a piece of clear uh, acrylic. Uh, now the Nerf darts will fire through this. Let's see if I can actually get one to it's not in place here, to fire through it. Oh, that one actually got jammed in it. Okay, so that one shot through. So uh, I lined them up so I, by putting a, a metal kind of washer uh, epoxied on here and then attached it so it would be lined up uh, with the darts so that they wouldn't be obscured as they, they went through it. Uh, so it looks like there's some function to this because it's then attached you know, here to the barrel. What is this? It's just a, a little uh, valve for aquarium airline. And that's what is what this actually is. So this red here is a piece of clear, let's see, it's clear airline tubing uh, that's used in an aquarium, kind of bubbler, but then I painted it uh, with uh, a red enamel uh, paint. And make sure so obviously these are going to work because they do go together so this is for this is about for airline tubing if you get other types of uh fittings say from a hardware store because adding brass fittings to it really make it look much more interesting and much more authentic um, but the problem you could run into is there are some fittings that you'll find uh, that your airline tubing will work with and there's others that, that won't they're just too big so if you buy these in person, say in a local hardware store, you run a better, much better chance of finding something that, that works for you. The other option is to go, like I did here with this cable, I wanted to use something a different color. Uh, so here you can just see it's a bit of an ethernet cable and I just cut, cut the tips off. If you find a mount, you can actually do it where you actually plug it in. That might look really cool, you know, as well. But here I just have one where the, the fitting is a really large opening. And instead of having it attached to the outside of the nib, I can actually feed the, the tube inside uh, the fitting and then just sort of glue it in place so it's not going to just come out. So that way it looks like these two things are actually connected and have some function. And that's kind of uh, the thing that I feel like sells it and makes it look a little more interesting. The other part of it, uh, 
has to do with the, some of these little uh, stickers, right? So these are actual labels that would be on the Ghostbusters Proton Pack. So where do you get these? Um, so there's a website, uh, hprops.com, uh, so H-P-R-O-P-S. Uh, and if you go there, you'll find Ghostbuster labels and you can just click on them and they're just PDFs of the actual labels. So you can just get these labels for free and then print them off on just you know, regular paper. You can get them that, to be printed off on sort of sticker paper so you can then have them keyed. I uh, purchased ones from uh, other sites that are printed off already, but uh, these uh, you could just sort of print off, but then you have to attach them. And so it's just a piece of paper, you know, how's that gonna work? So most people are pretty familiar with using uh, Mod Podge, but if you're not, after you've painted and then added the other types of paint, so you don't have to mask, say, over your labels, uh, because then you might damage them with just the, the masking tape or something, uh, go ahead and once you get to this stage, you can start to add these labels to it. So I just sort of cut some of the labels out just from the paper with a pair of scissors and, and then you can just apply it. So I'll put one on here just so you can see it really quick. Um, just get a little brush, figure out where you're putting it. So I'm gonna put this label sort of right here on the surface under the barrels. It kind of looks like a power, power up uh, type of label. And uh, just get a little bit of Mod Podge here. Put it on the back side of the rear paper so it's almost like you're creating a little sticker and you can be a little uh, excessive with it because you you do want it on the front you do want it over the side so you get this placed it, you can move it around pretty freely it's not toxic so you can, if you get it on your fingers uh, it's fine it's, uh, you can wash it off with water soap and water really easily once you do this though, you don't want to just let it sit like that. You do want to coat it or cover the top of it with the Mod Podge as well. So kind of cover the whole area, the whole um, little label and the area around it. After the fact, once it dries and, and you have all these on, you could uh, tape off anything you don't want to get gummed up and then go ahead and apply uh, a little clear coat of spray sort of over the top of it to do a little extra sealing and, and waterproofing. Um, but just alone like that, I think it looks, you know, looks pretty good. And that's the same thing you would do with all the other labels. So that is just uh, a little bit of how to get the, um, some labels that are cool Ghostbusters themed labels from uh, HProps uh, website. And they have a lot of other cool information of uh, Ghostbusters themed there and other props. Um, but, and this is just a little bit about this particular design. So you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, use the same type of Nerf blaster, use a different Nerf blaster, um, use the same kind of color themes. Uh, but this is just kind of what I did and some of the materials that I used for it.